Hello students, uh, I am making this video actually uh, to provide you the material regarding the concept of uh, binary arithmetic and also plotting point numbers. Uh, actually, it is the last part of this uh, first and second module. And actually, uh, we have gone through how we can represent decimal numbers in binary numbers, how we can do that, um, how we can represent the fractional numbers in binary also. I have shared this material in Google Classroom. You can go through it. You can uh, again revise it. Actually, uh, till now, we have followed the book. But for better reference, I am sharing this material and I will this video. Please go to the material also for your future references. So we have gone to this binary parentheses. Okay, so this is the process where we take a uh, here you can see uh, 86 in decimal format is like uh, 1 to 64, 0 to 32, uh, 1 to 16 means. Uh, 64 plus 16 is equal to 70, uh, mm, 80, 64 plus 16 is 80, then 4 plus 3 is 6, other bits will be 0, here you can see this is 0, this is 0, so that is why it is 86, so ultimately this is, uh, 64 is to be 6, in 6 bit will be uh, 6, uh, that is 7, bit will be 1, and fifth bit, uh, sixth bit will be 0, 5 plus 1 bit, because the initial bit is 0, that is why it is 6 means 7 bit, 5 bit will be 0, 4 bit will be 1, 4, man, 4 means 4 plus 1, fifth bit will be 1, 3, 3 plus 1, one 4 bit will be 0, and 1, and 1, and 0. So th in that way we have written the binary numbers. Uh, try to exercise this part, convert one step from decimal to binary and also convert 96 from decimal to binary. And also again, you can try with other conversion that is from binary to decimal. Uh, we have also gone through uh, hexadecimal and octal uh, uh, conversions and different coding format also. So. But here again, one important part is here that is sign binary integers. So uh, it, it we know that previously uh, we will not be using minus sign in case of binary representations. Uh, in binary, we do not use the negative sign. Uh, that is why we need to use zeros and one to symbolize this neg uh, minus sign or negative sign. So there are very uh, few ways to represent the negative binary numbers. The simplest of this method is called uh, one's complement. And then we have gone through where the sign of binary number is seen by simply toggling its bit of zeros becomes ones and vice versa. Means if the number is a uh, po positive binary number is suppose 010, zero, zero, then negative binary number of that will be uh, 101. Though the value is actually here is actually uh, uh, 4 plus 1, 5, but actually this is in negative form, we can say that is negative 2. Uh, that is the point. This is this is a uh, positive 2. Compl one's complement that is toggling the bits, toggling the bits, individual bits, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, and 0 to 1. And that is, we can say negative 2. Though the value seems to be 5. We can represent that 0, 1, 0 in negative in that way. Okay, so that is one process. These are some difficulties among them that fact 0 can be represented in two different ways. So here you can see suppose 1 bit is 0, then the negative of 0 is 1, which should, uh, which should not be. There is a difficulty that it is saying that it, this, is, this has some difficulties among them that the fact that 0 can be represented in two different ways. For an 8 bit number, this would be uh, this 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 0, and the negative of that number will be 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. We'll use a method called whose complement notation, which 
avoids this pitfall like because negative of zero is nothing negative of zero uh, should be zero okay uh, that is the point because there is no negativity in, in case of zero so we will go to that choose complement to avoid those problem so here you can see uh, you could represent a n with sign by a number the leftmost bit has a special significance suppose suppose 101 so here the leftmost bit is 1 and rightmost bit is this one so to represent an n with sign by a number uh, the leftmost bit has a special significance the difference between a signed and unsigned number is given in the table below for an 8 bit number so you can see suppose um, So here you can see 2 to reverse 7 equal to 128. So suppose um, there is 7 bits or it, suppose we take a simple, small example. Uh, suppose uh, uh, the bits are like 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, uh, 1, 1, 1, 0. So in this situation, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the zero bit or you can say rightmost bit. So that value is uh, actually here is zero, it is zero. So zero uh, plus, what is the decimal value of this? This one is, uh, so 2 to power 1 will be 2 plus, this bit will be 2 to power 2, 4, that is 4. Then this bit will be, uh, to the power 3 that is 8 this bit will be uh, to the power 4 0 1 2 3 4 so plus 16 plus 16 then uh, this will be 32 32 32 to here then this will be 0 though the actual value will be 64 if it is 1 but if it is 0 here it will be 60 it will be 0 here but in case of signed number if this number is a signed number then we should take this value as negative 128 for this leftmost b but if it is a positive or unsigned number then we'll take the value of 1 as a positive 128 now if you sum up this all these values suppose 2 plus 46 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 16 is uh, 30 30 30 plus 32 is 62 so 1 128 minus plus 62 will be equal to uh, almost 6 and 3 not 3 sorry not 3 will be 6 so that will be minus 66 if we use signed formation or signed binary number then that seventh bit or we can say 7 plus 1 8 bit will be or leftmost bit will be the negative value though the value of 2 plus 7 is 128 but we will take the negative sign if it is a signed number but if the unsigned number will take it as a positive if it is positive then the number would have been uh, 128 plus 62 that is almost 190 that would have been 90 but if the sign number then it will be minus 66 so that is the difference between sign number and unsigned number and the leftmost bit uh, creates that uh, difference that is the uh, importance of that leftmost bit has a special significance okay now again go to some example here you can see uh, this simple number if it is unsigned that value is 35 if it is signed also it will be 35 because the leftmost bit is 0 so it means that it is not negative because we only take consider or we consider only that bit as a signed number so, so here you can see this number it is unsigned if it is unsigned then it is 163 but if it is signed 
then this minus 93 because that leftmost bit will be taken as a minus 128 and uh, and summation of other bits plus minus 128 will be minus 93 so similarly for this one also if it is unsigned the value is 255 but this sign then the value will be minus 1 and for this one also if it is unsigned then one plus 128 if it is signed that is minus 128 so that is the difference between signed and unsigned binary number if bit 7 is not set as in the first example you can see the representation of signed and unsigned number is the same however when the bit 7 is set means 1 the number is always negative for this reason bit 7 is sometimes called the signed bit signed numbers are added in the same way as the unsigned numbers that only difference is in the way they are interpreted this is the most important for the designers of arithmetic circuitry because it means that numbers can be added by the same circuitry regardless of whether or not they are signed so uh, so here you can see uh, to make the uh, two's complete or to make a number or to represent a negative 35 what we will do uh, suppose uh, here you can see we know that the value 35 in 8 bit we can represent how like this way because this is 1 plus uh, this is 2 3 3 plus 32 that is this is a uh, 2 to the power uh, 5th bit the uh, 6th bit so 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 so that is 35 in positive now if we need to take the negative 35 or if we, if we need to uh, make it minus 35 then we have to take the two's complement of this number so to to take the two's complement it will be now 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 that is one's complement now we have to add one to make it two's complement that is one one zero one one zero and one now if we consider it is a sign binary number then this is say here this is minus 128 plus 64 minus 128 for this bit uh, then 64 for this bit then a zero then 16 for this bit then 8 plus 4 8 plus 4 uh, so 8 plus 4 and then next is 0 next is 0 okay then this is 1 so ultimately if we sum up this all the things it will you will get minus 35 okay so that is the way to represent the negative 35 using the two's complement in sign convention so here again the same procedure invert and add is used to convert a negative number to its positive number so we can do the same similar procedure if we want to uh, invert that negative 35 to positive 35 we have to go through the same procedure first we have to invert this number uh, then suppose it is a given number then if if it is a sign number if this sign number we have to first invert it so the inversion is 0 0 0 0 and then 0 0 1 0 okay and then we have to add 1 that to make it two's complement 0 0 0 0 0 0 uh, 1 1 now value of this is equal to 3 so we know that now this is the positive 3 so this is obviously the negative 3 so that is the that is the way to understand about signed uh, representation of binary number so you try to exercise these things okay and again uh, again here you can see let's carefully consider last case which use the number minus 5 as a 4 bit number this is represented as here you can see uh, 1011 if it is 4 bit number representation then this bit will be uh, the leftmost bit and it will be taken as uh, negative 
and so the value of this bit will be 3 divided by 3 that is 8 minus 8 plus 2 plus 1 that is minus 5 but in 8 bit number 8 bit number here you can see uh, the value of 3 is you can see uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. so negative 3 will be all the values here will be 1 and 0, 1 and here also you can see if you represent 5 suppose 5 in 8 bit it will be almost uh, uh, 1 0 1 and 0 and other 4 bit will be 0 so if you convert that to 1's complement first then it will be 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 then if we add 1 it will become 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 that is 2's complement is with this and that is the negative value of minus 5 and if you try to find out this uh, 8 bit that is minus 128 leftmost bit we have to take it as a negative value then 64 32 16 82 1 uh, after summing up all these things we will get minus 5 so in uh, here we can we have used 4 bit and 8 bit both are different representation of uh, negativity again next so it is clear that in the second case sum of contribution from leftmost uh, 5 bits is uh, is the same as contribution from leftmost bit in 4 representation so in the both case these are same So in case of fraction also you can go through it uh, what will be the procedure okay to represent the uh, negative numbers okay try to go through this part now uh, in case of arithmetic uh, using signed and unsigned convention convention it will be different type of concept so in case of uh, unsigned numbers we simply add 0 plus 0 with no carry that will be 0 1 plus 0 is 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1 with no carry 1 plus 1 is 0 and you carry a 1 so to add the numbers suppose uh, 6 in decimal 10 that is will be in binary 0 1 1 0 and 7 is 0 1 1 1 and answer should be 13 that is this so we can write out the calculation like this way here you can see uh, this is 0 1 1 1 uh, 0 1 1 0 in 4 bit and this is also 0 1 1 1 for 7 so now if we add this up 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 and you carry 1 then 1 1 1 that is 1 and you carry 1 then 1 so that is 13 okay so that is the way to simply do the addition in case of unsigned binary now only difficult adding unsigned number occurs when we add numbers that are too large so suppose here you can see uh, this is decimal suppose 13 and 5 the value should be 18 but in binary case uh, the representation of 13 is equal to 1101 and representation of 5 in binary is 0101 now if you add this up 11 0 you carry 1 1 1 1 0 you carry 1 1 1 0 you carry 1 and 1 that 1 is out of that number of bits because we have taken 4 bits here 4 bits here so answer should be in also 4 bits but that 1 is carry so you are not considering it in case of unsigned binary so the resultant is now 5 5 bit number so the carry bit from adding the two most significant bits represent the result that overflows means that one is overflowing here because sum is too big to be represented with the same number of bits as to the addends means these to the these two addends are having four bits so the resultant is five bits so that is the overflow happening so that is why uh, the concept of sign binary is used to remove this difficulty uh, here you can see uh, and that is here you can see minus 2 uh, if you represent minus 2 in 4 bit 
in generally the uh, plus 2 is actually 0 0 1 0 so we have to take the twos complement that will be equal to almost uh, first you have to take the ones complement and you have to add it you have to add one to make it twos complement that will be triple one zero that is here you can see and then plus three zero zero one one now you have to do the uh, arithmetic to make to, uh, to sum this two value minus two plus three in decimal it will be one now if we add them zero plus one is one one plus one is zero carry one 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 plus one is zero carry one one plus one is zero and there is one that is uh, over uh, overflowing but it will not come into the picture and the value is one you are getting the actual value again suppose here again minus five will represent in uh, uh, sign convention that will be equal to one zero one one plus three that will become like this so this is one again again another value here you can see here one point you can see this value this value we are using all these things as a uh, sign convention so this is one 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 zero this value so that last bit will be taken as negative eight plus C, uh, four plus two and that will be equal to minus two that is why this is minus two okay again uh, another equation a uh, problem that is minus problem minus three that that should be minus seven so minus four in sign convention that is double one double zero and minus three in sign convention that is double one zero one if we add them uh, one zero one one zero one carry one 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 carry so if you consider this one this one if you consider this one in four bit the leftmost bit is minus eight in sign convention and plus one that is this part so that will be equal to minus seven so in this case the extra carry from the most significant bit has no meaning so this one has no meaning with the sign numbers there are two ways to get an overflow means this is overflowing okay these bits are overflowing in this case also in this case also so we can get overflow uh, in two ways if the result t is greater than 7 or if the result is less than minus 8 okay let's consider these occurrences now here you can see in this case uh, here you can see 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 that is greater than 7 then also overflow uh, might exist 0 plus 1 is 1 uh, 1 plus 1 is 0 uh, again 0 and 9 obviously both results are incorrect because here you can see uh, in uh, in this case overflow is harder to detect but you can see that if two numbers with same sign either positive or negative are added the result has the opposite sign and overflow has occurred means uh, this value is 9 but this value is 6 in sign convention but in this case also if, it, if you take this is sign convention the value will be not 9 so that is why this is not correct the results are not correct in case of sign convention so uh, though there is no overflow but that is what it is saying obviously both of these results are incorrect okay results are incorrect if you think it as a or if you consider it as a sign binary because the leftmost bit is minus 8 plus 1 that is will be minus 7 and again this is uh, in case of sign binary this is uh, 4 plus 2 6 but answer should be minus 10 so that is a both are incorrect but in this case uh, overflow is harder to detect so there is no overflow though in this situation but the answers are incorrect but you can see that if two numbers with same sign if the numbers are same sign either positive or negative uh, are added if you add the same sign having the same sign and the results has the opposite sign 
if the result has the opposite sign means this is if you take this one as minus eight then the result is negative but you are adding two positive numbers then that is the part where you can detect that that overflow is occurring here okay in this case also uh, the answer is minus 10 but here you can get, you are getting plus 6 okay in sign convention that, that is also incorrect so you can detect that there is something wrong that is overflow is happening in case of frac ad ad adding fractions also you can find those type of situations okay uh, multiplying in case of multiplying also suppose if you multiply 10 into 6 that is 60 in simple binary directly you can multiply like here you can 0 into 0 0 that is 0 1 into 0 1 into 1 1 into 0 and 1 into 1 and like that 1 0 1 0 shifting and 0 0 0 ultimately this is the answer okay now in this case the result was 7 bit which can be extended to 8 bit by adding 0 at the left when multiplying larger number the result will be 8 bits with the leftmost set to 1 as shown here you can see this is having 8 bits and you can see leftmost bit is 1 in binary multiplication it is simple binary multiplication uh, without any sign convention now in case of uh, sign numbers uh, there are many methods to multiply two complement numbers that is just to simply find the magnitude of the multiplicands multiply this together and use the original sign bits to determine the sign of the result okay so what is the way to multiply sign numbers here you can see um, suppose if you have to multiply minus 2 and minus 3 uh, first you multiply simply 2 and 3 so if you multiply 2 and 3 that should be 6 then the negative of 6 needs to be determined using the sign convention so simply 2 3 is suppose uh, the number is suppose will be like uh, 0 uh, 1 0 and 0 1 1 suppose if you multiply then 2 is like 1 0 0 1 0 uh, 1 0 uh, then 1 0 uh, 1 0 so addition will be like 0 1 1 0 so that is in 4 bit so now if you need to find uh, uh, so if you multiply minus into minus that is plus 6 so that is the answer but if you suppose um, minus into min, uh, minus 2 into plus 3 that then minus two, uh, answer should be minus 6 so you have to convert that answer uh, in using sign convention uh, so that will be like uh, first one complement of that number will be 1 0 0 1 and by adding 1 that is 2's complement 1 0 1 0 so now if you evaluate this in case of sign convention that that value is minus 8 and this value is 2 this value is 2 so plus 2 that is minus 6 so in that way we can evaluate the uh, uh, sign numbers multiplication or if it is uh, plus 2 and plus 3 then it is okay plus 6 but again if it is plus 2 and minus 3 is uh, then also it directly multiply 2 and 3 then you will get this result then you take the negative of that result by doing that uh, two's complement form and that value will be minus 6 in sign convention using that 6 uh, leftmost bit as negative number that is minus 8 but sometimes what will happen is that the multiplication should be uh, cannot be uh, counted in like suppose 4 bit it will go for 8 bits then using the 8 bit uh, sign convention you have to convert that answer to negative numbers so that is the procedure for uh, multiplication of sign numbers okay now we'll go for another part uh, that is uh, floating point numbers 
okay in case of computer it is very very important to understand this floating point number is in case of digital numbers digital electronics here you can see real number suppose uh, pi uh, equal to 3.14 uh, dot 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 or you can say exponential e e equal to 2.71828 like that so scientific notation in case of scientific notation also has a single digit to the left of that decimal point so this is here you can see this is the scientific notation where there is one digit left of the decimal point uh, that is a scientific notation a number of a number in scientific notation with no leading zero is called normalized number okay that is normalized number okay 1.0 into 10 to the minus 8 that is normalized number not in normalized form that is suppose uh, you are not putting uh, one decimal uh, one decimal value in front of or you can say left of the decimal point uh, might be zero or might be 10 like that so to be in scientific notation there has to be only one uh, decimal value uh, left of that decimal point one single digit so that is a sign uh, not scientific notation uh, to look for normalized number and, and that also can be do uh, we can do for uh, in binary number uh, uh, in scientific notation here you can see uh, 1.0 into 2 to the power minus 3 that is in binary convention so but in case of computer arithmetic that supports such number is called floating point to support this number that concept of floating point is there okay so using here you can see to understand the more of more of it uh, using normalized scientific notation it simplifies the exchange of data that includes floating point numbers so this is this is in this is the floating point numbers so using floating point numbers it simplifies the exchange of data okay and also simplifies the arithmetic algorithms to know uh, that numbers will always be in this form so for computer also it is very very important to ha have a consistency in their uh, representation of the numbers so that in that way only it is easy for the uh, easy for to simplify the arithmetic algorithms uh, to know that the numbers will always be in this form also it increases the, increases the accuracy of the numbers that can be stored in a word since its unnecessary leading zeros is replaced by another significant digit to the right of the decimal point so to represent a floating point numbers uh, there is three part one this is part one this part and one this part so here um, this first part is signed value signed uh, this uh, signed part okay this is in one bit uh, okay then uh, next is that exponent part e part and next is mantissa part that is mantissa part so how many bits will be used for each part for this part one bit will be used for this part eight bit will be used and for this part 23 bit will be used and in total 32 bit will be used to represent a floating point number so mantissa is this middle part exponent is this part and signed part is this part and bit number is the 31 bit will be the signed part okay signed bit part and from 23 to 30 bit it will be for exponent part and the last 0 bit to 22 bit will be for mantissa part so a single precision floating point number occupies 32 bits okay so a number with a, a this a fractional number if you want to represent using single precision floating point number then that number will take 32 bits and the uh, the partition of the 32 bits are like this uh, 1 8 and 23 and it's compromise between 
and the size of mantissa and the size of exponent so here you can see uh, the susan size provides a range of approximately this uh, that amount of value we can represent using 32 bit number okay from minus 10 to the minus 38 to plus 10 to the 38 can be represented in this format but in this case two two situation might occur that is overflow and underflow the exponent is too large to be represented in the exponent field that is overflow and underflow is the number is too small to be represented in the exponent field mean too low than this too high than this then it will be problem to represent and that case is called overflow and underflow and to reduce the chances of overflow and underflow a double precision arithmetic is used to represent the fractional number in binary convention uh, that 64 bit will be divided in like this way the sign bit will be one bit that 63 bit uh, that 52 to 60 bit that is 11 number of bits will be used for exponent and rest will be used for mantissa and providing uh, using this convention double precision arithmetic to represent the floating point we can cover that much amount of numbers uh, less, uh, equal to 10 to the minus 308 that much minimal we can go and that much maximum we can go that is 10 to the power 308 that is the range we can represent okay now these formats these formats are called IEEE 754 floating point standard since mantissa is always like 1.xxx in this in the normalized form so no need to represent the leading one so effectively uh, single precision is like uh, 1 plus 23 bits in case of double precision 1 plus 52 bits so 1 plus 52 bits means uh, say so 1 plus 52 bits and here uh, 1 plus 23 bits okay since 0 has no leading 1 means if it is 0 then 0, 0.0 has no leading 1 to distinguish distinguish it from others it is given the reserved by pattern all zeros like here you can see 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. so for exponent so that harder won't attach a leading 1 to it thus it will become like this other number other than 0 will be in this format if it is negative that is negative 1 that is sine bit plus 1 plus mantissa uh, into 2e so if we number the mantissa bits from left to right m1 m2 m3 that is uh, left to right means from decimal point that is left and to the right it will be 1 m1 m2 m3 here you can see mantissa part m1 will be multiplied with 2 to the minus 1 means that first value after the decimal point in the uh, right side then second value uh, after the decimal point that is in the right side so m1 into this in that way that can be evaluated so negative exponent could pose a problem in comparisons sometimes that negative exponent means if that exponent is negative for example uh, with two's complement so here you can see that to represent this value how that floating point represent work so for this uh, mantissa part that is zero for this negative one that is exponent because uh, it is in 8 bit and pos for positive one is one and in negative convention it will be uh, in sign number it will be uh, if we take two's complement of this number that is first one complement then they add one that will be all one which is this one that is the way to represent this with two's complement and in positive case it will be this 
so with this representation the first exponent shows a larger binary number so here you can see it shows a larger binary number making direct comparison more difficult so to avoid this a bias notation is used for exponents so if the real exponent means exponent part of a number is x then it is represented as x plus bias here you can see uh, i triple e single precision uses a bias of 127 therefore an exponent of minus 1 is uh, minus 1 plus 127 that is 126 and that is equal to this okay and 0 is, zero is represented as 0 plus 127 that is equal to this okay and plus 1 is represented as plus 1 plus 127 that is 128 that is this so to represent minus 1 we are using this to represent 0 we are using this means every time we are adding 127 that is why 127 is the bias and whatever we will get by adding that 127 and that value will be put in the exponent okay that is to avoid that concept of this larger binary number so the actual exponent is found by subtracting the bias from the stored exponent so whatever the stored exponent that is uh, suppose minus 1 then if we want to evaluate the actual exponent from the given binary rep representation then we need to subtract that bias from the stored exponent then only we will get the real exponent therefore given as e and m fields here whenever some value is in given uh, in this format then that exponent will be e minus bias that will give us the real value of that uh, exponent now uh, how can we do the floating point addition now suppose we have to add 8.70 into 10 to the minus 1 with 9.95 in 10 to the minus, uh, plus 1 and rewrite the smaller number such that its exponent matches with the, with the exponent of larger number now 8.70 into 10 to the minus 1 equal to we can write uh, if, it, if, if we make it this as plus 1 it will be 0 0.0087 that will be 1 plus okay and add the mantises uh, mantises are here equal to here uh, this is the first mantis uh, second part mantisa it is the first part mantisa and it becomes like this now if we add them this two it will be like this so and write the sum is equal to this okay put the result in normalized form now put this in normalized form that will be this shift the mantissa adjust the exponent shifting the mantissa adjust the exponent sex for overflow underflow of the exponent after normalization we need to check for overflow underflow after the normalization okay that is the simple procedure for this process now again there are some other more steps are there we will go through it again uh, round the results if the mantissa does not fit in the same in the space reserved for it it has to be rounded off here you can see it is rounded off to 0 0.04 for example if four digits are allowed for mantissa so suppose four digits or four bits are allowed for mantissa then we need to go for rounding of that value okay uh, only have a hidden bit with binary floating numbers example uh, in addition in binary uh, suppose we need to perform 0 0.5 into minus 0. Point, uh, minus 0 0.4375 so 0 0.5 uh, in uh, normalized form that is uh, 0 0.1 into 2 to the power 0 okay or equal to we can see 
zero point five equal to two. This is one point zero two three minus one normalized. Okay. Uh, or this is this one in normalized form minus zero point zero one 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 into two to plus zero. This will be like this one. Okay. Because we have to convert this five into this. It's a simple procedure to convert binary uh, decimal fraction into binary fraction, and also for this, this is converting to this. Okay. Now it is normalized. Now rewrite this. This is the conversion. Simply uh, binary uh, decimal fraction to binary convert uh, fraction uh, binary fraction. Okay. Now rewrite the smaller number such that its exponent matches with the exponent of the larger. So smaller number is this one. We have to make it like this one minus one. So if we make it minus one, this will be like this way. Now we need to add the mantissas. So we need to add this part with this part. So it will be like one zero zero this part, and it will be like this one. Now this is common. This is common. So it will become like this. Okay. That is the simple addition in floating point. Now normalize the sum. Checking the overflow underflow. Uh, zero point zero zero one into minus two into two minus one. Uh, if we put is put thing in uh, normalized form, then one will be in front of the decimal point, and there will be minus four. And if we uh, here you can see minus one twenty six is less than equal to minus four, and again less than equal to plus one twenty seven. So there is no overflow or underflow. Now round the sum. Uh, if there is possibility. Then, uh, then some fits in four bits, so rounding is not required because that one fits in four bit. So rounding off is not required. Check one zero zero into two minus four. That is zero point zero six two five, which is equal to uh, zero point five minus zero point four three seven five, and it is correct. Okay. So main part here is that actually initially your conversion from this part to this uh, from this part to binary. And this part to binary. So we need to revise that process that we have done in almost like the first or second class of our uh, theory, where we have converted the binary num binary uh, the fractional the decimal fractions into binary fractions. That conversion need to uh, revise. Then only this can be done. So if you convert this fractional uh, fractional decimal fraction into binary fraction, and also this um, decimal fraction uh, decimal fraction into binary fraction, also there is a negative convention. So how can we do that? So you need to follow up that procedure. Okay. If you have any uh, questions or doubt, uh, first follow this document, and also follow the conversion procedures. That we have gone through till now. Uh, try to follow the book, and if you still have some doubt, then please let me know. We'll try to resolve it. Okay. So these are very very important part in case of uh, computer science because in, in the circuitry, digital electronics, mm, these concepts are highly used. Okay, because there is no that much amount of memory to hold lots of uh, ranges of numbers. Only a specific range of numbers can be represented. That is why we need to represent in this type of format. Okay, to make it more efficient. There is a few more examples for multiplication in binary using in that floating point conventions. Okay, try to go through these examples. Okay if you find more difficulties uh, then let me know okay thank you